This is another ball that conducts electric charge. It is covered with gold foil. I accidentally melted the previous one with the cigarette lighter's flame. This type of charge detector is called a pendulum electroscope. Charging a PVC pipe negative with the wool, it attracts the ball. Charging the plexiglass strip positive with cotton, it attracts the ball. This tells us that the ball is not charged, otherwise one of the charged objects would have repelled it. The ball locks onto my finger in the presence of the charged plexiglass. It breaks free and is strongly attracted by the plexiglass. Charging the pipe negatively, it strongly repels the ball this means that the ball is charged negatively. Charging the plexiglass positive, it strongly attracts the negatively charged ball. How did the ball become negatively charged? The positively charged plexiglass strip attracts some conduction electrons towards the front of the ball. The rear of the ball is left with a resulting positive charge. The net charge on the ball is still zero at this stage. The plexiglass pulls electrons onto my finger when I bring it nearby. A positive charge of similar magnitude will also appear on the skin of the rest of my body. The plexiglass will also induce a negative charge on my left hand due to its proximity. The negative charge on my finger will cause a rearrangement of the induced charge on the ball. My finger will induce a positive charge next to it on the ball. The ball is then attracted towards my finger. During the experiment I slowly approach the ball with my finger. At some stage electrons jump from my finger onto the ball. The ball is now negatively charged and will no longer be attracted by my finger. It is now attracted by the positively charged plexiglass and swings towards it. The ball will react exactly the same way as before if a negatively charged object were used, except that it will become positively charged. The negatively charged object will push electrons away from my finger onto the rest of my body. Electrons will then jump from the ball onto my finger, leaving it with a positive charge.